want to craft chandelier earrings but don't know where to start? Well no problem, in this video I'm going to guide you on how to start up a brand new town and get to a fully finished design that's able to craft enough chandelier earrings for you to be competitive in the upcoming competition. I'm going to start off by making a brand new town. It's going to have a new biome layout for the upcoming competition, which is going to be a forest biome with an oil seep included. It's going to have a river on the west side and all the other sides are going to be a desert, which isn't going to help in this case. The trade time is going to be 1 minute and 20 seconds and it's going to cost 1 gasoline for every trade that I make. So this layout is going to be a little different than what we're used to. Instead of wheat fields, we're going to get copper panning sites. Instead of a silo, we're going to get an ore storage. And instead of a farmer house, we're going to get a panner house. That panner house is going to come with a worker that is known as the panner. It's going to go to the copper panning site to pick up the copper ore that is crafted there. And it's going to store that in the ore storage. So for some time, I'm going to be selling this copper ore. It sells for 3000 each. And my goal is is to get to copper production as soon as possible because for the upcoming competition copper is cash boosted uh, so copper will sell for 5,000 cash for each one so a stack of 10 will sell for 50,000 copper is crafted in the forge now the problem is that the forge is difficult to build it's going to need five lumber and in order to make lumber I first need to make the lumber mill and in order to craft lumber I also need other items such as water drums and energy so I will need to craft the respective buildings for those first so I'm going to need a lot of money in order to pull this off and in the meantime I'm just going to be selling copper ore in order to speed up the process of gathering more copper ore in order to sell it i am going to make one more panner house and one more copper panning site now the copper panning sites here need at least one pass of water in order for them to craft copper they also don't want to be near any shade dirty or salty as that will slow them down so i have to be careful on where i want to put those and i'm also going to need a way to gather energy and water drums so for the energy i'm planning to make a wind turbine and for the water drums i'm going to make a water facility in order to build the water facility i'm also going to need oak wood so right here i'm going to place down a couple of roads and i'm also going to need a warehouse in order to store the energy and the water drums in i'm going to go ahead and build out that warehouse now, as you can see i'm running out of money very quickly but uh this biome comes with ponds and an oil seep the oil oil seep I do want to keep as that's going to help later on with the production of gasoline and energy because of the passive crude oil but that is later on that's not going to be used right now so all these ponds over here I'm not actually planning on using those at the moment so I'm going to go ahead and sell them because they give me 2,500 cash for each one that I sell and I'm also going to sell these uh pastures because they give me a little bit of cash but I also don't need those so now that I have more money I can start building out some of the other stuff I need so water facility wind turbine and in order to pick up the energy from the wind turbine I'm also going to need a worker house so my builder is going to work on building all that but like I mentioned earlier the water facility will require oak wood so I'm going to have to plant an oak tree farm for that one I'm going to put it near the river because it needs five water in order to grow and the river provides up to five passive water along the edge as you can see right there the oak tree farm is growing oak wood now one thing I need to be careful about is oak wood gets stored in the oak shed along with the wood and the lumber right here. This wood shed only holds 10 items. If I notice that my lumberjack's about to go and collect the oak wood, I need to make sure that the wood shed is empty. That way he can actually store the oak wood in there. Now oak wood should be prioritized so as soon as it grows my lumberjack should be going for it. That being said, I am also going to need a lumberjack to collect the oak wood and regular wood so I can keep building these buildings out in the meantime my uh, builder over here is building out the water facility and the wind turbine it'll be able to do the wind turbine and from there i'll be able to collect energy and store it in the warehouse water facility will be done as soon as i collect that oak wood that i need now in the meantime i'm going to be selling copper ore and i do want to go ahead and put the copper ore on auto sell so i'm going to click on my settings on the top left 
go into auto sell and put copper ore with a sell at amount of 10. I want to make sure that my auto sell is turned on. So as soon as I get at least 10 copper ore, it's going to go ahead and sell it. Assuming my trade depot is back and ready to sell another batch. So as soon as it gets back, as you can see right now, it's going to go ahead and sell the copper ore. And it's just, we're just going to keep it busy, just selling copper ore while my two panners work on collecting it and taking it to the ore storage. For the time being, I'm just going to make money doing that. As soon as the wind turbine's done, the water facility is done, that's going to collect the water drums. And I'm just going to keep selling copper ore until I get enough cash to build the lumber mill and for that i'm gonna need fifty thousand cash so it is gonna take a good couple of minutes that's just gonna get me to the lumber mill to actually craft lumber i'm then gonna need a, a bit more cash uh 27,500 to build out the forge and from there i can finally make copper and that's gonna give me way more cash so right here the uh, oak tree farm finished growing so the lumberjack went for it uh, in this case i do have enough space here so it's gonna put the oak with there if i did not have enough space then i would flush this woodshed here but i don't need to in this case so as soon as that the lumberjack puts the oak with there my builder will collect it and finish building the water facility i'm gonna let these run but uh i actually don't need that much water drums uh, it's easier to craft so i'm gonna try to get six or eight water drums around there and as soon as i have that amount i'm going to stop crafting water drums and just keep crafting energy eventually my warehouse will fill up before I get all the money I need to build the lumber mill, but that's okay. So from here, I'm just going to let it run for a while. Just keep selling copper ore, collect cash. As soon as I have enough cash, I'm going to build the lumber mill and I'm going to start crafting lumber. I have over 50,000 cash now, so I have enough to build the lumber mill. I'm going to put the lumber mill right here. I've also collected plenty of energy and water drums. Now I get into the process of making lumber. Once this is finished building, it's going to take one water drum, two energy, and five wood for every lumber that I make. Lumber is also going to go into the woodshed, so I need to make sure that I have enough space in the woodshed for the lumber. What my lumberjack should be doing is taking the wood directly to the lumber mill, so the woodshed shouldn't get full of wood, but I do need to watch out in case it does. And I just want to be collecting lumber right now and try to get to five lumber by the time I get enough cash to make the forge, which that's going to cost me 27500 so I'm still gonna have to keep selling copper ore also i realized that i'm not gonna use the storehouse for this process since i'm not making any other items that go into the storehouse so i'm gonna go ahead and sell that and get a little bit of cash from that but yeah i'm still gonna need to sell at least seven more batches of copper ore so i still have to wait while i wait for the cash to build the forge i am gonna show you this design that i made this is gonna be the goal for this guide i am using the lycan warlord guild town star visualizer 2.0 this was a tool created and modified by crypto dude he uh, makes sure it's up to date so shout out to crypto dude you can find the link to this website in the description of this video you can use this to plan out your design it's gonna have a planner here and you'll be able to select all the buildings and place them on this board and you'll be able to see what each building crafts and what materials the items need and all that stuff it's gonna help you out so much when planning out a design so i'm showing you this now because i'm going to be placing certain buildings in certain spots because i'm thinking ahead that way i won't have to re do some of the buildings that I place but of course not all the buildings I place will actually stay there some of the buildings are what I call temporary buildings that's when you build something with the idea of removing it or moving it somewhere else later you just want the there temporarily to, to help you out for the time being the first thing I'm going to do is actually build this copper forge right here that I'm selecting I'm going to build it right next to the oil seat that's going to be the first one that I'll be making copper with and then I'll make two refineries nearby and probably try to make a fuel storage nearby and i'm going to be manually crafting petroleum and gasoline uh, until i can get enough money to afford the power plants and water pumps that i need to create a full passive gasoline production and as i get more cash i'm also going to build more forges so i can craft more copper and get cash faster now that i have enough cash i can actually build out the forge i'm also going to put one more road down just before that because i do want forge to be right in front of this oil seep here and i have four lumber right now 
now, but it's in the process of making the fifth one. And I also have enough energy for it. Now, as soon as it makes this next lumber, I am going to turn off the lumber mill so I can start collecting regular wood again. So because it needs five regular wood in order to build the forge. Now, as soon as this gets built, it is going to cast two shades. So it's going to negatively impact this wind turbine. So I am going to move the wind turbine, probably build multiple wind turbines over here because I am still going to need to craft energy later on in order to manually craft gasoline. So the forge is just about done here. So I'm going to have it start crafting copper. It is going to require five copper ore and one wood. So I'm not going to be selling copper ore anymore. So I'm going to have to remove that from auto sell. As soon as I get one copper crafted, I'm going to put copper on auto sell. Now this copper is going to be stored in the warehouse. So I do want to make sure I have enough space there. If it's getting too full with energy or water drums, then I want to make sure to turn those off temporarily. I also removed my oak tree farm. I managed to collect six oak wood, which I will need later to build two water pumps. Uh, no more than six oak wood is required. Yes, it, that does mean my wood shed will probably get full very quickly now. Uh, what I could do is build another wood shed if I really need to. I may also want to consider crafting more lumber so I can make more buildings in the future, such as another forge. I will need another lumberjack to collect more wood. That way I have enough wood for the lumber mill making lumber and enough wood for the forge since that will require it as well. For the time being, I'm just going to let the forge run and make copper. And as soon as I get 10 copper, I'm going to have a lot more cash. My first goal once I have that amount of cash is to get refineries built up so I can manually craft the petroleum and gasoline that I need and also get a copper ore storage or uh, get a ore storage much closer to the forge making copper ore. Since I do plan on having my ore storage right beside this road right here to the left, that means it'll be a much shorter walk for the forge instead of having to walk all the way over here for this ore storage. But for the time being, it's just going to have to do that. Uh, most likely my ore storage will get full copper ore since the panners collect copper work faster than my forge can make them right now. So yeah, just going to work on that. Uh, it is going to take quite a while. As soon as I get 10 copper, I'll sell it. I'll come back with the cash and then I'll keep progressing. Now that I've sold a batch of copper, I got 50,000 cash. I want to spend 20,000 on an ore storage that's much closer to this forge. Uh, this is going to take 10 wood. So I do also want to go ahead and make another wood shed. So I went ahead and placed it here. So my builder is going to be busy for a while collecting wood so we can build this ore storage. I am going to move my forge so where it's facing the ore storage. Eventually, I'll have to remove this ore storage so that my panners can just bring the ore over here to this ore storage. So I've sold a couple batches of copper now, so I'm getting a lot of money. I finished building the second forge. It's also making copper, of course. So I have two forges picking up the copper ore from this ore storage, making copper very quickly, putting it in the warehouse. I made sure to have at least 10 spots in the warehouse so I can hold 10 copper to auto sell it. I have placed down two more copper panning sites to get more copper ore. I've also placed down another panner house to pick up copper ore faster. I've placed another lumberjack house to get more wood just to make sure I have enough wood for these two forges and also enough wood to make more lumber which at the moment I've paused lumber production but I have four lumber saved up for whenever I make my next forge or perhaps the power plant whatever I decide to make next but at this point oh and I also made two more wind turbines to gather more energy so at this point I have five gasoline I am running low so I'm gonna have to start up gas production I'm gonna get rid of this wind turbine expand my roads a bit and I can't afford the full passive gasoline production yet so I'm gonna run manual gasoline production for a while I do have enough money to at least make two refineries. This refinery right here is going to craft petroleum. I do want one refinery right there. So for the time being, I'm going to make a temporary road right here. That way I can build the refinery over there. And I'm also going to want a fuel storage closer to these two refineries. That's going to be right there. Now manual gasoline production means I will need to continue to make water drums and energy so I can actually make the petroleum and then make the 
gasoline. It's time consuming and it's not as efficient. So eventually I'm going to save up money to get water pumps to make the water drums passive and then get power plants to make the energy passive. I do actually have enough money to do the passive water drums, but I need to build a pond first. So that pond is going to be right here. So I need to get rid of this marsh and place a pond here. I still have the well from earlier. So whenever the builder is done building all these out, it's going to focus on then making the pond. After the pond has been made, I am going to go ahead and start building out the two water pumps. I'm going to put one right here where this tree used to be since I just cleared it and one on the other side. That's going to give me the two passive water drums that I need for the refinery. That's going to make the gasoline and the one passive water drum that I'll need for the refinery making the petroleum. I am getting passive crude oil for the refinery making petroleum, so I'm not going to need oil pumps in the setup. As for the lumber mill, I do eventually plan on building a lumber mill right here. I'm going to go ahead and actually make a road for that. Uh, I'm not going to build it just yet. That's probably going to be after I build the water pumps is when I'm going to build the lumber mill here. Once I have all that done, I'm not going to need any more water drums, so I won't have to worry about balancing those, making sure they don't take up all my warehouse space. I'll just be able to focus on energy. Once I get to that point, I'll come back and talk about what I'll do next. I let it run for a while now and I collected a good amount of cash. I have enough cash to progress towards the power plant, which is going to help a bunch because then I'll be able to craft energy in the power plant, but also I'll need less energy for the gasoline, which at the moment I did temporarily turn off the petroleum and the gasoline so I can can gather up the energy that I'll need to build the power plant and I'm also going to need a bit more lumber I have six lumber right now I'm gonna need 11 lumber total I'm gonna to spend one lumber paving this road right here and then I'm going to need to build the power plant so I'm actually gonna go ahead and pave this road I'm gonna get rid of this tree because I do want a regular road there for the refinery as soon as this is paved I'm going to replace this road and build the power plant and in the meantime, I'm going to continue to keep crafting energy, make the rest of the lumber that I need. I'm going to possibly, if I have to get rid of one of my lumberjack houses, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one just so I won't be gathering that much wood. I'm going to use a lot of that wood right now on the, not just the paved road, but also the power plant. I need to make sure that my wood sheds don't get full so I can get the rest of the lumber that I need, but I, sh I should be fine. In fact, I might need, even need that lumberjack back but uh yeah for now I'm just gonna wait until I can build the power plant and I'm not crafting any more gas so the copper that I am making I'm gonna auto sell it use up the rest of my gas I might have excess copper for a while until I get all this done but for now my priority is getting that first power plant built I forgot to mention this but I also did build the lumber mill here it has passive water drum so I have no more need of water drum so I can get rid of the water facility here and I'm also going to get rid of this lumber mill right here since I already have the one right here also since I built the refinery here it did negatively impact this wind turbine it's casting one shade on it now so it has slowed it down and I do need more energy right now so I'm going to temporarily build another wind turbine just to help me get the energy I need for the power plant but as soon as I have the power plant built I can get rid of those wind turbines and just craft energy with the power plant because of the fact that I'll get two passive crude oil from the oil seat. So it's going to be much easier than my power plant is building right now. So once this is done, this is going to get much easier. It's not full passive gasoline just yet because I will need another power plant in order to accomplish that. But this will make it so much easier because then I won't need any more wind turbines to craft the rest of the energy. So this refinery, I'm going to have it making petroleum again. This refinery, I'm going to have it making gasoline. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these three wind turbines that I had since I won't be needing those anymore. I actually never built the extra one that I was planning on building, but that's fine. I did put back my lumberjack house since I needed more wood to finish building this power plant right here. And I'm just going to, you know, produce gas in a moment. I keep selling this copper that I already have stored up. Keep collecting cash so that I can afford to build the last power plant that I need. I will need another paved road, so I'm going to go ahead and make that. I will need 
to keep gathering lumber for that so start off um but yeah once this power plant is built that like the lumber mill won't even need energy anymore because well it's gonna have passive energy from the power plant the refinery making petroleum is also gonna have passive energy the refinery making gasoline that's just gonna have three passive energy so it is gonna have to collect three energy so as you can see power plant is making energy because it has the crude oil and water drums passive now i just have to be careful and make sure that i don't make too much energy i don't want to uh jam up my warehouse with too much energy so i, I want to make sure i don't have more than 10. i could auto sell gas uh, energy set it at an auto cell of 10 but first i need to focus on actually making gasoline and using that to uh, sell my copper you can see right there i just made one gasoline and i just sold another batch of copper so i'll keep making money that way keep making lumber I'm just gonna keep letting this run until i can afford to make the second power plant and once i have full passive gasoline then i just continue to scale up my copper production from there make way more money and i'll be able to afford all the buildings that i need now that i've made it to full passive gasoline production i can finally start increasing my production for copper so i can make more money first thing i want to do is get some more roads down so i can follow along with my design that i had uh, and i'll have more space to actually put panner houses and forges down so i'm going to go ahead and do that first i got some of the roads done i'm going to be able to put some panner houses in this section over here as well as this small section over here most of my panning sites are going to be in this section over here and i did get rid of some panning sites but i'm definitely going to put more of them this whole area has passive water from the river it starts off at five and then goes to four three two one so it'll reach all the way into the edge of this road i'm gonna go ahead and place a couple more panning sites along this edge and i'm also going to need more panner houses i'll start off by placing three along this block right here and i pretty much used all my cash but i am almost going about to sell a batch of copper i did realize that the energy is taking up all the space so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that energy by selling it and i am going to turn the power plant off it's not going to craft energy anymore because i don't need to craft any more energy unless i'm planning to build a building that requires energy but as far as crafting i will not need energy for that anymore since i'm able to craft lumber petroleum and gasoline without needing to craft any additional energy now with the cash that i'm getting from this batch of copper i am going to build a lumber yard this is going to be temporary as well until i'm pretty much done with the build uh, but the lumber yard is going to allow me to hold up to 20 wood or lumber so it's going to save me space from needing to have multiple wood sheds i also also paused my lumber production i have 15 lumber right now which is plenty i need to make sure i have wood there so i can also build the rest of these buildings over here and i also have just enough cash to build one more forge which i'm going to build the next one in this spot right here i am very low on money right now and my wages are a little bit higher than what they used to be but i, I want to be careful here make sure i have enough money to continue to pay off my wages until i get to 10 copper and collect another 50,000 cash but I should be fine. So from here, all of this stuff is going to get built. I'm going to possibly continue to make more lumber so I can use it on more forges. I just don't, I, I want to make sure that my wood sheds don't get completely jammed up. And uh, once this forge is done, I'm also going to have it craft copper. And I'll just continue to scale up my copper production that way and build up more cash i now have eight forges making copper and what i need more of right now is copper ore so i'm going to make some more copper panning sites and make more panner houses and i'm also probably going to need more lumberjacks but i actually want to get started on the some of the loggers that i am planning on having so right here i'm going to get rid of this and start off with building three logger houses and yeah that's gonna use lumber and energy as well just like the forges did so i'm gonna need to make more 
energy at the very least. Uh, I keep turning this power plant on and off. If I need the energy, I'll turn it on. And once I don't need any more, then I turn it off just so it doesn't jam up the warehouse. Uh, ideally, I could also put energy on auto sell and just keep it on. That way it'll never jam up my warehouse that way. And I am to the point where I'm getting plenty of energy. It's basically plenty of gasoline. I mean, pretty much full on gasoline all the time here. So yeah, I'm building three logger houses. This whole section right here is just going to be panner houses gonna fill all these up with panner houses i also put a panner house right here and these first two rows over here are going to be copper panning sites so i'm going to fill those up and replace some of these trees here for panning sites as well also i want to have another spot for my trade depot i'm planning on putting it in this corner over here so i'm gonna go ahead and build that as soon as this trade depot finishes building then i can remove this one because this one uh right here right now I, it's casting dirty on this spot right here also is a lumberjack house but i'm also planning on getting rid of that once these loggers are finished i am going to need a lot of wood right now to make lumber and to supply the wood to the forges so i am going to have a couple of temporary lumberjacks so for the time being i've placed temporary lumberjacks right here and i'm going to do some of my road structure right here i could probably fill in this little rectangle worth of roads just have to remove some buildings also i don't actually need the worker house anymore so i can get rid of that one as well and this is where i'm at right now so i'm also going to place down another builder so i can get some of the building process done quicker and you know what i'll make it another one so i'll have three builder houses right there and just in case I need more wood, I'll add another lumberjack. Uh, this is something that you'll just do as you please. Add more builders, add more lumberjacks just to make the process go by quicker. But uh, I'm going to let this run until all this gets built. Uh, that should improve my copper ore production so I can get more copper to make more money. Also at this point, well really once you get to full passive gasoline production, by that point you can go to your settings and turn on update town offline then if you decide to leave the game uh maybe t shut off your computer you can come back later it should catch up on your progress and you'll be able to make cash while you are offline and if you had anything that was in the process of building like i do right here by the time you come back it should finish building now you do want to make sure that your town is self-sufficient before you turn that setting on which means you have full passive gasoline production you want it on auto sell as well that way it won't jam up your warehouse and really just be careful with all your storages you don't want any of your storages to get jammed up and then it interrupts the production chain of your town so you want to be very careful with that only turn the setting on if your town is self-sufficient but once it is yes it's a good idea to turn that on you can leave the game come back later and it should catch up so that's what i'm gonna do right here i'm gonna leave it for a while um test it out see how it works uh return the main menu and i will come back later should be collecting cash and my buildings should get done okay so it's been about an hour and a half so i'm about to log in back into my town it's probably going to take a couple of seconds to actually load up so once it's loaded up i'll cut right to that i have over a million cash so that's a good sign looks like everything got built uh so great it worked offline for the past hour and a half i got caught up now i have plenty of cash to continue with my design first thing i'm gonna do is go ahead and do all the roads that way i know where everything needs to go now that i have all my roads i want to make more forges so i can get even more copper so of course i can make more money and i'm gonna start off with making this row of forges right here i'm also gonna want to set up tree farms in this corner over here where i have these trees uh, so i'm gonna end up getting rid of all these regular trees and replacing them with tree farms but i'm also going to need more water so i'm planning on making two ponds there uh, However, I will need to build a well again uh, so I can get the water that I need to actually build these ponds. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here and get rid of all these. I already have the cash to do so. But yeah, I'm just going to be getting rid of stuff, uh, getting rid of trees, getting rid of marshes while I wait for these ponds and these forges to build. And of course, as soon as these forges are done building, I'm going to turn copper production on and just continue the grind and 
before I uh, leave this running here, I am going to get rid of this lumberjack just so it, it doesn't cast shade on this. But I also want to get rid of this trade depot as soon as the trade depot comes back right here I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. All right. So I have the one in this corner already working and that's all I need. Really, I'm going to go ahead and make some more builders. Now I am going to have one builder in the corner over here. That one's just going to stay there because I can't put anything else. But I do want just more temporary builders to, you know, help me build out everything else that I need. Uh, this whole row over here can just be builders. Uh, spend all my cash while I have it. And I already cleared up this area right here, but I am going to put just some of the tree farms along the edge right here since the edge already has the five passive water that the trees need. So that should be good right there. Uh, that one was a little Ah, uh, I believe. Okay, now it's good. So yeah, as soon as these two ponds get finished, and I can put the rest of the trees here, and I'm just gonna clear up stuff while I get the money, and I'll be back. One thing that I noticed leaving this running for a while is that I'm making too much copper for my trade depot to actually catch up with all the copper it needs to sell. So I am going to make some temporary extra trade depots to sell the rest of the copper. Otherwise, I'm just gonna end up with lost copper. Like sometimes I'll just throw it away because there's not enough space in the warehouse because it's not being sold fast enough. I know gasoline is not the issue because I can already craft that fast enough. So yeah, I'm going to make extra trade depots and I have once again over a million cash. I'm just going to spend that cash for the time being making even more forges and then eventually I'm going to start paving my roads. But for the time being, I'm just going to put down more forges. I've been letting this run for two hours now. So I built almost all the forges that I need and I also got rid of all the regular trees and marshes and rocks and all that. I put down more tree farms and right now I'm sitting at 6 million cash just constantly selling copper. It's actually making about 2.5 million cash in profit per hour just from selling copper. So I'm making so much cash doing this. I believe I have all the cash that I need to actually finish the build but this next step I'm just going to pave all the roads. Usually I do do this uh, one by one or two at a time. So yeah, you don't want to pave all the roads together like if i pave this one it might actually bug out because it wants one regular road next to it so the best way to do it was would be to pave every other road and then when those roads are paved you can go back and pave the ones that you didn't pave in the first place i am going to pave all the roads after that i believe my next plan would be to do all the logger houses so i have now paved all the roads and i've even built the loggers that I was planning on having. So I'm going to get rid of these lumberjacks and the next step is going to be building all the panner houses and I also want to build all the copper panning sites just the copper ones for now and I want to build the storages that I'm going to be having here. So I'm going to have the warehouse in this spot right here and I'm going to have the jewelry store that's going to store the copper and silver jump rings and the chalonier earrings. I'm going to have two jewelry stores right here. I'm planning to have my jewelry tables right there. And now, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put all the uh, panner houses down and the copper panning sites so you can see which ones they are. So all of the panner houses have been built except for this one that's supposed to be in the lumber yard. But that's going to be in the very end. I've also built all the copper panning sites. I've not built the silver panning sites yet, but it's going to take up these 18 spaces right here. I am I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the two extra trade depots that I have um, since I already have all the cash that I need. I don't need to be uh, selling more copper and I do plan on having two forges there. It looks like I sold it while it was in the middle of a trade so the copper got stuck here but uh, I'll refresh it in a moment. Other than those two forges my next goal is going to be to build all the wire mills. Now this is the only warehouse that's supposed to be in this build so I am going to to go ahead and get rid of this one right here and I'm going to build out all of the wire mills that I need so this whole space right here is going to be all wire mills total of nine of them I will show you that these six right here are the ones that should be crafting copper wire at least that's the plan and these other three over here are going to be 
the ones crafting silver wire. So these are also going to use copper when building. And I'm sure I'm still going to produce a bunch of copper right now. So more than enough copper for everything. I am not going to do the silver just yet. Instead, I'm going to do a couple of extra builders over here. But eventually I will have to build out the silver panning sites, turn half of these forges, I convert them to start crafting silver because I'm going to need the silver for the jewelry crafting tables. And of course, I need silver in the end to craft the chandelier earrings. I'm not there yet, but I am almost there. So I'm going to let this run until the wire mills are all finished. The forges, I will also refresh the page. But before I do, I been running looking at the production monitor here it's doing over 600 copper per hour so the town makes over 3 million cash per hour if you run all these forges all these copper panning sites making copper it makes so much money so with the copper cash boost it really helps out uh it's not too hard to gather cash once you've gotten past the point where you have passive gasoline production and you're just scaling up copper uh, but yeah i'll let this run i am almost done here so the next step is going to be to make the jewelry crafting tables i haven't started crafting anything with the wire mills just yet i'm going to do that after i craft the jewelry crafting tables and one thing i did want to mention is during the competition you probably do want to finish everything as soon as possible and start crafting chandelier earrings as soon as you can because that's where you're going to get the most amount of stars since that is the star boosted meta item for that competition so don't do exactly what i'm doing here and just save up a bunch of money build everything and then start crafting chandelier earrings i suppose you could but the most efficient way would be just to start crafting a little bit of chandelier earrings uh, while you're working on the finished build design here so i am going to start crafting these uh building these jewelry crafting tables here these two right here are going to be crafting the chandelier earrings and i am going to rotate my jewelry store so that they can get to the jewelry store much quicker they are going to have to make 15 trips to make all the jump rings and then make two more trips to the warehouse to get silver wires and i'm also going to build of course more jewelry crafting tables four of these are going to be making the copper jump rings which probably going to be those four right there and then the other four are going to make the silver jump rings and yeah I, I went ahead and got rid of the builders there so I can make the rest of these uh, so yeah that should be all the jewelry crafting tables that I need or that's pretty much gonna be all that I'm gonna have for this design now I'm gonna keep these builder houses here for now but I am going to go ahead ahead and start building the silver panning sites they are going to be slowed down because of the shade from the builder houses but i will be removing those builder houses later so i can make the rest of the silver panning sites and uh because i don't need those builders there in the end i'm going to utilize the one builder that i have in this corner right here i also converted half of my forges to start crafting silver so i'm going to show you that real quickly all of these forges right here are crafting silver and all the other ones are still crafting copper so that's because i uh, obviously i'm going to need silver for the chandelier earrings but i'm also going to need silver to craft the jewelry crafting tables so this is probably going to take a while because i need so much lumber what i am thinking of doing is just putting temporary builders around here to slow down the ores so i can have more wood to actually create lumber with that's just some ideas you could do if you're trying to get wood quicker uh, to get the lumber that you need for the jewelry crafting tables otherwise I'm just going to let this run for a while until all of that gets finished building. And then I just have to make some final adjustments, like take out this lumber yard and take out this lumber mill. And that should be it. I also started crafting chandelier earrings. And yeah, I also started crafting all the wires that I needed. I got rid of the builders over here and replaced them with the silver panning sites. And I've been letting this run for a couple minutes now. Uh, I'm going to orient it like this now. I've been running it for a couple of minutes and one thing I noticed is that I actually have too much copper panning sites like I'm getting way too much copper or uh enough to make like 40 earrings per hour but I'm pretty sure this 
build is not going to be able to reach that number. It's too early to tell exactly how much it's doing. But just from looking at it right now, it is making too much copper ore. As you can see, the ore storage almost keeps getting full of it. So I do need to balance that a little better. What I'm thinking of doing is see if I can get rid of three of these and replace them for a silver panning site and just see how the rates react for the copper ore and silver ore. Also, I'm not planning on making any more lumber, so I'm going to get rid of the lumber mill. I could make a forge there, but usually I would just say make the panner house because it's so much easier to build. Uh, also, if I did want to make a forge, I would need to have held five lumber beforehand. So yeah, I, I'm just going to put the panner house, but if you really wanted to, you could build a forge here. You just need to make sure you have five lumber before you get rid of the lumber mill. If you decide that you need lumber again not only are you gonna, you gonna have to build the lumber yard or a woodshed again you'll have to remove whatever building you put here and put the lumber mill again so you can make more lumber that's why i, I like having a small building like a panter house something that's easy to build right here once i am done making any changes to the panning sites over here i will get rid of the lumber yard and place a panter house there now of course, I need one wood to build the pattern house. So the way I would do that is get rid of a tree, place a wood shed. Eventually, I'll get one wood there and the builder would just build the last pattern house. Then I can get rid of the wood shed and replace it back with a tree farm. If for some reason I'm not getting enough wood for the wood shed, what I can do is constantly flush the ore storage. And what happens if I keep doing that is that the forge workers will not be able to get enough ore and they won't be able able to complete their crafts they'll all end up with one wood but no ore and eventually the loggers will keep collecting wood none of the forges will need it so they'll just take it to the wood shed so that's what you could do and if you need just the last couple pieces of wood to finish up any additional tweaks so one last thing i want to mention here is it's very important that you change uh if that you rotate to these buildings so they all face the south side whenever you initially built them as you can see the workers are all entering from the same position right here i'm going to actually rotate them so that they enter closer to the road and hopefully you'll be able to see that here in a moment so i've rotated all the panning sites now and hopefully you can tell that the panners are actually entering from this way now instead of this way and i do believe that's more efficient because the paved roads are basically letting them move along this side so they can just squeeze through the middle here and go for whichever panning site they need to go to to pick up the ore and yeah that's basically going to help you get more copper ore which in this case i know i'm making too much copper ore so i'm going to let this run for a couple of minutes and make any additional changes to see if i can balance the ore what might end up happening is I will probably get rid of some copper panning sites because I might actually have too many for this build to handle and it's better to get rid of the excess copper ore than to let it jam up my ore storage because if I let it do that then I might get stuck like my ore storage might just always be full of copper ore silver ore is not going to be able to go into it then I won't be able to craft silver and that's just going to stall my chandelier ear production rate so i have to make sure that i balance the ores and yeah i'm gonna mess with it gonna get rid of some copper panning sites and see what ends up working it is finally done the chandelier earrings build is completed so i am going to talk about the few adjustments that i made i thought the issue at first was that i was making too much ore because i had too many panning sites which that is true i am still making too much ore but really the root of the issue is that I wasn't forging the correct metals so I ended up switching seven of the forges from silver back to copper that way I can balance out the amount of metals that I needed for the chandelier earrings. I also rotated these two so they could get to the ore storage a little quicker since they have to walk a little less now. I did keep all the panning sites. I got rid of my lumber yard and put down a panner house. In the process 
process of crafting chandelier earrings still off to a decent start but when it comes to testing you don't actually know your real rate unless you leave it running for at least two hours just to get a stable rate but what i'm going to do is leave this running overnight to show you what the rates ended up being just for this design right here more tweaks could be done to improve this i'm sure but i'm just going to leave it how it is right now and then leave it running overnight and that's the next clip you'll see after nine hours of leaving the game running this is gonna be the final look here so the design is doing 39 chandelier earrings per hour which is great it's far better than the other two designs that i've already showed the only thing is that it's still overproducing ores so a lot of the copper ore and silver ore gets wasted uh that's probably just because i don't have enough forges to make the metals with the ores so if i somehow fit more forge in here i could probably make more metals also the jewelry crafting tables over here if i had one more of these making chandelier earrings possibly like right here i could make even more earrings because the way it's set up right now is most of the time these two tables are busy working and they don't have time to actually pick up the silver wire when it shows up in the warehouse so if i had three of them working at the same time i do think it would use the materials up better and probably hit at least 40 per hour but yeah the only other thing slowing it down is the fact that i don't have enough forge to keep up with the ores that i'm actually bringing in otherwise i could make even more than 40 chandelier earrings per hour but the way it is right now it's doing great it wasn't that hard to build uh this pretty much all got built in the same day it's just the next day now last thing i'm going to show here is the auto cell so you want Pretty much everything on auto sell except for gasoline you don't have to put gasoline on auto sell it will delay your sales so that's one of the reasons why i don't like to put it on auto sell but your metals and wires at an auto sell of 10. the rings i have them at an auto sell of 15 because yeah sometimes they'll go over 10 like the silver rings right here and the jewelry crafting tables making chandelier earrings use up a lot of those materials so yeah it would be a good idea to set it at a higher sell out amount you don't want to just sell it at 10 and then you have no more rings for your jewelry crafting tables whenever they're done with the earrings that they're making uh of course chandelier earrings at a sell amount of 10 you do want to sell those as soon as possible and the ores i have them at a sell amount of 20 but i don't believe they ever sell maybe on rare occasions uh yes usually the ore storage is full but when it's full it's usually like 12 copper ore, 8 silver ore. it's usually like around half and half uh, it's, I don't think I've ever seen it where it's just like 20 copper ore. But if it does happen, then that's where the auto sell would kick in to help you there. So the storage isn't jammed. So yeah, that's uh, everything I have for this. Hopefully this guide helped you out, gave you some good information on how to go about this whole build or give you ideas for your own design if you're making one. If you watched the full video, you are amazing. I worked all day on this guide, so I hope you found it helpful and informative. You can find links in the description of the video if you wish to support the channel. As always, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.